These spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. Fighting back tears, Celine Dion revealed to her millions of fans that she's been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder called stiff person syndrome, and she won't be able to tour. She said she's working hard with her sports medicine therapist every day to build back her strength and ability to perform again. The singer said this syndrome affects, quote, something like one in a million people. Joining us right now, Dr. Shemindra Connorsman, a board certified neurologist from UC San Diego, helped to talk about this. Uh, Dr. Connorsman, thanks for being with us today. It's good to be here. Uh, yeah, first off, we'll get right to it. What is stiff person syndrome? How do you get it and what are the symptoms? Stiff person syndrome is a rare, progressive, but treatable neurological disorder that's autoimmune, it's immune mediated. It is caused by the immune system. There's usually no trigger that we know of. And its main symptom is stiffness, especially of the back muscles, and it can spread to the arms and legs. And one of the most common other symptoms is a, these spasms that are very painful, and it can stop a person from moving normally and being able to do their normal activities. So this is a person's own immunosystem misfiring and attacking its neurological system? That is correct. The immune system turns on your body, specifically it attacks your brain and spinal cord. And there are certain nerves within your spinal cord that are responsible for your muscles relaxing. And because those specific nerves are being injured by the immune system, your muscles cannot relax, which results in the spasms. And how debilitating can stiff person syndrome be? What, what does it mean to a patient's daily life? Unfortunately, it can be very debilitating. The earlier you get diagnosed and treated, the better the outcome. It can, be, if it's diagnosed early, it can be, you can get it under control with treatment. But if there's a late diagnosis or if it's under treated, it can actually progress and be quite debilitating. Even a patient can become wheelchair dependent or bedridden. You said it can be treated. How is it treated? What are the, what are the pathologies or the, the ways to attack it? Yes, treatment has three prongs. One is to actually give a immunosuppressant, so actually a disease-modifying drug. Uh, we start out with typically steroids, immuno, uh, intravenous immunoglobulin, even plasma exchange, and then typically transition to a long-term drug like rituximab. And then the second prong is to actually give medicines to help with the spasms by calming down the muscles by giving medicines like baclofen or benzodiazepines. And the third one is physical therapy. So there is treatment, but is there a cure for this? Unfortunately, there's no cure for stiff person syndrome. There are treatments. Uh, Dr. Connorsman, so you, you haven't seen uh, Celine Dion in person. You, you haven't seen her charts, understand where she's at. But for fans out there who are seeing her, maybe you've seen the video, what can we hope for for her? Can we expect to see her back on the stage? It seems like uh, Ms. Dion is actually being treated by a, a group of physicians who are trying to help her as much as we can. Uh, we all hope for a good recovery for Ms. Dion, but she is going to be a struggle for her. It's going to be a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, road, and I hope that she will get to be back on stage. Dr. Shemindra Connorsman with UC San Diego Health, a board certified neurologist. Thank you for shedding some light on the situation we've heard. Uh, Celine Dion is going through right now with stiff person's disease. We thank you for your time. Thank you.